Hello. In this short video, we'll be looking at replacement analysis. This is where a company may, for example, need a delivery van in its business, and it thinks it may always need one. The question we're considering here is how often should it be sold and replaced with a new one? We'll work with an example here. Suppose the delivery van costs $10,000 brand new and the company is trying to decide whether to replace the van every two or every three years. It costs $1,000 to maintain in the first year, $2,000 in its second year and $2,500 in its third year. If the van is sold after two years, its scrap value is $4,000. After three years, its scrap value is $2,500. The cost of capital is 10% per annum. Let's first of all work out the net present value of each replacement cycle, starting with the two-year cycle. If we buy the van, run it for two years and then sell it for scrap, the net present cost of ownership would be calculated as follows. The initial cost, the maintenance costs, the scrap proceeds, all discounted at 10%, gives us present values and an overall net present cost of $9,257 for the two-year period. Let's now consider the three-year cycle. If we buy the van, run it for three years and then sell it for scrap, the net present cost of ownership would be calculated as follows. The initial cost, the maintenance costs, the scrap proceeds, all discounted at 10% gives us present values and an overall net present cost of $12,561 for the three-year period. So, in summary, the net present cost of a two-year cycle is $9,257 and the net present value of a three-year replacement cycle is $12,561. It's very tempting to say, given that these are costs, the two-year cycle is obviously cheaper, so we should go for that. However, this is analogous to saying that if I buy a brand new car and it suffers $10,000 depreciation in one year and a total of $15,000 depreciation over two years, that I'd rather suffer $10,000 depreciation than $15,000 depreciation, so I should replace my car every year. It's a good way to talk yourself into getting a new car, but it's not correct because we aren't comparing like with like. It'll be more reasonable to say if I replace my car every year I suffer $10,000 depreciation every year, but if I replace my car every two years I suffer the equivalent of 15,000 divided by 2 equals $7,500 depreciation a year. So I should in fact replace my car every two years. What we've done here is compare the equivalent annual depreciation cost of owning the car for two years versus one year. The equivalent comparison can be done with net present values by dividing the NPV of a replacement cycle by the cumulative discount factor or annuity factor for that number of years. In this case then, for the two-year replacement cycle, the equivalent annual cost will be calculated as follows. $9,257 divided by the annuity factor for two years at 10%, which, using annuity tables, is $9,257 divided by 1.736 equals $5,332 a year. The equivalent annual cost of ownership for a two-year replacement cycle is $5,332. Incidentally, what this is telling us is that if we were to hire a van for two years and paid $5,332 rental at the end of each year, that'll have the same NPV of $9,257 cost. So, you can think of equivalent annual cost as being the same idea as an annual rental charge. For the three-year replacement cycle, the equivalent annual cost will be calculated as follows. 
$12,561 divided by the three-year annuity factor at 10% equals $12,561 divided by 2.487 equals $5,051 a year. The equivalent annual cost of ownership for a three-year replacement cycle is $5,051 a year. Again, you can think of this as being an equivalent annual rental cost for a three-year cycle. I would rather pay $5,051 a year compared to $5,332 a year. In other words, the three-year replacement cycle is more economical. In this video, we've explored how to tackle replacement cycle questions. The key thing to remember here is that you can't compare NPVs of different replacement cycles directly as they relate to different periods of time. You need to divide each NPV by the annuity factor for the length of that cycle to convert the NPV into an equivalent annual cost. Equivalent annual costs can be compared directly.